Hey guys, so this video is going to be basically about um, about whether or not I will be doing Pokemon Resolute version again after a year or so since I stopped playing it, mainly because I couldn't advance anywhere else in the game. But I received a couple of comments suggesting that I get back into that game soon or whenever I guess um, yeah that's gonna be kind of a tough question on that because there are basically a few factors as to why I stopped playing that game and whether and why I I feel kind of reluctant to continue on so let me just kind of put a few reasons out there as to why um, I feel a little bit shaky on continuing Pokemon Resolute again. So here we go. Number one, I will have to do the game all over again if I have to download the latest version. Um, though I do like computers, in a sense, um, and I, I'm not exactly sure if it's possible, but it may be possible to um, transfer my save states to the latest version even though that sounds a little bit far-fetched and probably a little bit too it'll probably stretch my computer a little too far or you know my emulator a little too far to do so but in either case I would probably have to do Resolute all over again I'll have to grind up Lucario again, I'll have to grind up the rest of my team, I'll have to catch the rest I have to catch all my team members again, and I will have to go through all eight gym leaders again. Which, if if you guys had already seen my my entire playthrough, my Lucario, my concert master, was at level 100 by the time I finished Pokemon Resolute. I would have to grind up my Pokemon all over again, and it took me. I mean, it it was really grueling. I had to. Do a lot of off screen in to um off screen and yeah, I sound like a hillbilly there. I it, it took me a little I had to do a little off screening in order to bring my Pokemon up to the point where they were when I started doing Tyron. And you know how I felt when I had to go th how I had to put up with all eight gym leaders. It if you guys don't really know, Pokemon Resolute is sort of Kaizo esque, so you have to you have to have a lot of patience and a lot of a lot of endurance I guess in order to progress through that game and while I am a patient man in real life um, Pokemon Resolute sort of diminished my patience a little bit and a lot of times here and there it just it made me scream it made me scream all over the place I had to grind up my Pokemon to a certain level in order for me to get a certain badge. And when it came to Elite Four, that was a totally different story. Because when I got to the champion, I had to do a double battle, and that involved a lot of pain. I had to... I just had to sit through a lot of screening, trying to... trying to defeat the champion and his level 80 to 90 Pokemon. And I mean, it just—it wasn't fun. I wasn't really having too much fun here. I was—it was basically forced. I had to force myself to grind up my Pokemon at damn near Prime Cup levels, and I just—I felt like I was doing a—I was—I felt like I was doing Pokemon Yellow harder. It was just basically a harder version of Pokemon Yellow, but, I mean, Pokemon Yellow was never like that. And, I mean, the latest version will be bug-free, I suppose, but, yeah, I, I hated going through Mirage Tower and having to defeat Team Mirage over and over again. That one, that one place where I had a face black war you know where black Rayquaza lived I had to battle every single grunt again including the admin and 
it was just it wasn't a picnic for me. I didn't it what Mirage's the, the the Mirage Pokemon that they had were so high leveled that I um felt you know, my Pokemon kept getting obliterated by them and I had to go back to Nurse Joy, who unfortunately was at the very start of the tower, so I had to do that, and then I had to work my way back up and battle the grunts all over again, and it was just basically an endless cycle, and by the time I got to the leader, where, you know, the part where Nicole inadvertently died, um, I had to endure a lot more pain, so that's... As you can probably tell, guys, I... I mean, I like Pokemon Resolute in a way. It's well done. In some ways, even though the the grammar is questionable. But... I... I loved and hated that game. In a way that I just hated that game. If you guys can probably put that in layman's terms. And when it came to the missions... Hooey! When I had to do the second mission, I almost wanted to put a stop to the game right there because that last green shard was damn near impossible to find. Guys, this... I think a few of you guys treated this game as if it was some sort of a walkthrough, but it wasn't. It was a blind, it was a blind run. I had to look for outside help whenever I needed to, and... When it came to the green shards, the walkthrough didn't give me any information whatsoever as to how to do it. I had to go watch a YouTube video of someone else trying to pull it off. And yeah, as, yeah, you had to get that last green shard by some various means, including having to go back to Carmine Isle and catch a Sigalith and hope for the best that you get a green shard there. So... That second mission kind of took the cake for me, and I I almost want to get done with that game by then, but I just decided to push on because I forced myself to. So yeah, probably the primary reason why I feel really, really iffy about continuing that game again is because of all the pain and suffering I had to go through in order to reach to that point on screen, on camera. And I just didn't really seem too comfortable about that game anymore. But there are other reasons too. I mean, there's also, um, there's also the longevity of it. I mean, it, I did 110 or so episodes of Resolute. And I don't really feel like I want to do 200 more in order to beat Johto, which, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the final game I can actually go through Johto again, re relive memories of of Gen 2. I, I hate I hate saying nostalgia because nostalgia is so overused on YouTube. Like, whenever I listen whenever I listen to a an old Nintendo song from yesteryear, I always I always look at... I mean, nostalgia seems to be used a thousand times in the comment section, and I feel like I really... Sh I feel obliged not to say it. But yeah, um... It'd be nice to relive memory lane and go through Johto again, but... Um... Um, one of the reasons... Well, one of the main purposes of Weekend of Hacks, um, when I first started doing a weekend of hacks was to was to review progressing hacks. I wasn't really I didn't really have my eyes set on doing full complete hacks. I just wanted to give my own positive or negative feedback on progressing hacks and tell the designers what they need to work on in order to make a really good game. I never really thought about doing a um doing a complete run of a certain hack for this segment to begin with. I just wanted to do incomplete hacks and you know the rest there so yeah I just I didn't really want to do Resolute all the way through and 
it, it also if I um I mean I know it's pro it's other than Ash Gray is my most watched LP and I I just I kind of feel like if I continue on with Resolute I feel like a good I feel like a complete sellout and I feel like I'm on the flying Dutchman that will just basically go on an endless trail out to sea and I feel like there's really no other way to move on and that was kind of the point here I, I wanted to move on to other projects I didn't want to do Pokemon Resolute forever and LP ears um, generally don't do Let's Plays forever guys I mean that seems quite obvious once they get done with the game, if whether or not they're doing a 100% run, or they feel like they're they feel like they felt accomplished enough to finish a game, then the game is therefore finished. So you can't really expect a person to go on a certain a certain playthrough for all eternity. And you know, people want to move on to better. Well, you know, bigger, better stuff. So, I that's kind of one. That's kind of one reason why I wanted to not do Resolute again. I wanted to kind of distance myself from it because I just I want to do other things, and I I mean that's that's it in a nutshell. But if you guys want me to do Pokemon Resolute again, then um, I'll I'll greatly think about it. I, I'll have to assist to 12 months again to grind up every, everyone and go through everything again, complete all three missions, much to my chagrin, and I'll have to go through all eight gym leaders and I'll have to try to find everything up to that point again, which includes the legendary Pokemon, which I did in the finale. Well, you know, the what I consider to be the finale. It may not be the finale anymore, but... Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to consult the walkthrough again because I don't exactly remember where everything goes. I know a lot of people keep asking me like, where do I find the ESP share, or you know, where did I find all four keys and whatnot. And I'll have to watch my playthrough over again because I, I know I have a really good memory, but I don't have a, I don't have a long term. I don't have a perfect memory. I mean, I I don't exactly remember everything that I did. I can't really retrace all my steps. But yeah, um, basically my consensual answer to everything concerning Pokemon Resolute will be maybe. And hopefully things will work optimally this time.